Hello, good afternoon. I am Afonso Jurado from La Paz University Hospital. Uh, we are connecting uh, for the second live case of today. Uh, here uh, beside me is Dr. Galeote. Uh, Sofia is uh, our nurse uh, scrubbing, Chus, Pilar, uh, a lot of people here, and working with the OCT is Dr. Jimenez Valero, uh, Pablo Ellos, and a lot of people working in the backstage. So, uh, again, thanks to Mainstream to uh, having us in this uh, amazing program. And uh, I give the word to uh, one of our fellows, Silvio Vera, just to present the, the case. Quítame las gafas. Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, we're going to present this case. This is a 75 years old man with history of dyslipemia, former smoker, and as you can see, in 2011, stable angina with uh, this in the proximal LED, uh, and now this year in the 2023, stable angina, but uh, with bad functional class two three on optimal medical treatment, preserved ejection fraction, and as you can see, anterior hypokinesia on the echo. In the ECG and the lab, there is no significant findings. And you will see the angio. We have I'm the right coronary seeing. artery with no lesions, um, occlusion in the circumflex, and we can see two lesions, uh, one distal in, in the LED and another one in the proximal uh, first diagonal branch. So uh, this is the, uh, the, the plan and the procedure. We have distal in stem stenosis, and also we have a bifurcation, in this case, LED, the first diagonal branch a side branch uh, lesions. So the plan is to do imaging guided PCI, possible plus modification technique according to the to the result for the OCT. And uh, we have to discuss the technique uh, on bifurcation. And now that I give the word to Alfonso. Uh, thank you, Silvio. So we have selected this case because it's a, a real life case. Uh, we have an uh, in stainless stenosis. We have a bifurcation with a, an ostial side branch bifurcation that always uh, give us some problems and also a moderate to severe lesion in proximal LED. So uh, I can tell you the, the setup and the things we have done till now. We have a, a real access, seven French, uh, with an EVU seven French in the uh, guiding catheter. We have crossed two wires, two cyan blue wires, two LED and uh, diagonal. And we have done uh, already the OCT analysis that uh, I don't know if uh, they can see it in the screen. The OCT, yes, please. So we, we are going to show firstly the LED. And then the, the diagonal. In the LED, uh, well, you can see here the, the angio. Firstly, this is the, the first angle we have done um, in the screen. And uh, this is the LED, right? Santisi. Uh, so uh, you can see from distal in this uh, new Ultron uh, software, the distal is in the right part of the of the screen. And we are going from distal to proximal. This is the distal edge of the stem. You can see a severe neoterosclerosis sclerosis uh, there, uh, just in the in the edge, I think, uh, at the edge of the of the previous stem. The distal uh, reference diameter probably is near, the measurement that Santi uh, has done is near 2.5, 2.3 the lumen. And inside the stand, uh, I think it's pretty okay. Uh, and the problems come again at the proximal LED. This is the stand, the other wire in the diagonal, and this is the proximal plaque that in the angiography was moderate to severe, but uh, here in the OCT, it's a lipidic plaque uh, with a luminal area under three or near three. So uh, here we have been discussing and probably we need to treat it. And we can uh, show uh, the OCT from the diagonal. The, the, the OCT catheter was occlusive, so we did a manual pullback. And it is also a good vessel, uh, 2.5 distal uh, distal vessel. You will see right now. This is the distal vessel. 2.4, 2. something, yeah, 
and then you are going to see the the severe lesion here it's occlusive and and when we come back to the LAD I don't know if we have this is the just just in the ostium just in the ostium okay so uh, we're going to treat firstly this LAD right yeah so please uh, give us a NC balloon 2.5 en ese, en, balón NC 2.5, balón NC 2.5. 2.5. We have been discussing if it was a good case for doing laser, that we are uh, uh, an expert center in this in this technique, but probably after OCT results uh, is enough uh, with the plain balloon dilatation. We'll, okay. we'll see. Sí, sí. Cuidado que te vas a dar. Santi, a lo mejor podéis analizar un poco la OCT y decir lo que es la rico, rico en lípidos. ¿no? Lo que pasa es sí, pero lo que no sé si todo el mundo es experto en OCT y reconoce, reconoce los diferentes puntos, ¿no? Con la flecha so, digo lo que es lípido, lo que es. Hay te, gente... está, te están oyendo todo. Vale, déjame una razón, Entienden que esto siempre se entiende que. Ok. Que... So I don't know if is there any question in the audience, uh, Silvio. What is Silvio? Silvio. Doctor Jiménez Valero can can show you the the. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let, me, let me see if, if this is the wire. This is the diagonal, right? This is the diagonal. So there is no, uh, Dr. Jiménez Valero is, is reviewing all the images of the OCT uh, with detail and there is no severe calcification at any point, nor in the diagonal, nor in the LED, not, 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 not severe, yeah, the, the yes. lesions had some spots of calcification, but it's not more than 180 degrees, no deep calcification, no long calcification, no nodules, as far as I uh, we, we see. So um, we're going to treat. Uh, this is the order, this style LED, then diagonal, pr probably with drug eluting balloon, if you agree, yeah. and then the proximal, the proximal vessel. Okay. So give me a test, please. Test, Sophie. I think we are there. Okay, this is a 2.5 NC balloon, just at the edge of the previous stand. 12, 12, 16, 16. Okay, mm, good expansion. In my opinion, I'm going to retrieve a little bit and uh, confirm the expansion in another projection. Okay, let's inflate here. Go up, 18. This is a no compliant balloon. 18, 18. I think this is a good expansion in two projections. So uh, probably. It's enough with the black modification. Okay, um, I think to dilate the proximal LED, Santi, uh, we need a 3.0 balloon, or because probably with this with this balloon we are going to do yeah. nothing to this to this vessel. So I'm going to retrieve it. Can, can we use this this balloon to to dilate the, the diagonal? The the diagonal. diagonal. Okay. Sí. No, but we are going to. Vamos a tratar primero la dea distal con un stem, vale? So at the at the in stem restenosis is at the at the edge of the previous stem, we are going to treat it with another stem, a drug eluting stem. This is an stem implanted in 2010, if I, I don't remember. But uh, so probably we we can uh, use nitro. Senti la el diámetro distal en el stem nitro. ¿Cuál era?
Pues bueno, hay, dos, hay que elegir el tamaño del stand distal, ¿vale? Voy a poner nitro y hacemos una, una acción, aunque nos confundiría un poco. Yo por eso le decía que como se anticipe es dos y medio. Eh, rellename un poco. Vale. Bueno, me parecía hasta más grande, pero no sé. Este, eh, cine. Ok. Es seguro dos que... y medio, ¿no? Y, eh... Por lo menos un sí, 15, no. ¿no? No, más. Hay que descubrir un poco más, ¿no? ¿Tú crees? Ya. ¿No? 18, 20 y poco. Bueno, sí. ¿Qué opinas? 18. 18 quizá. ¿Nos dais un stand de 2 y medio 18 o una cosa así? Yes. Stand 2.5, 18. Uh, 2.5, 18, as Dr. Galliot has said, uh, because it's not only the severe plaque at the, at the edge of the stand, just in the middle, mid-distal part of the stand, there is some uh, neutral sclerosis. So we are going to cover, to try to cover all the plaque. 18. Sí, vale, vale. 20, vale. Sí, es ok. Es okay. Sí, sí, ese está bien, ese está bien. ¿Eh? Vale. Ya, yeah, doctor Jiménez Valero said that the, the lesion, the long lesion is 12 millimeters, but this is a, a, little, a little more longer stand. Synergy from Boston Scientific, 2.5, 20. The Synergy XD. And we are going to try to to land in the more healthy areas. So the lesion is only 12. We are going to use a, two, a 20 millimeters stand. Yeah. You got it. Eh, Chus, cuando llega a media hora le ponemos 2.000 más. Como que tiene mucho la guía abajo. ¿Ves, por favor? Más o menos. Me voy a un, un cine, por favor. I think this is the point. Ok. Nominal pressure is 12. Go to 12 and then I retrieve a little bit and go up, no? Okay. We're going to 12 to nominal 12 pressure. Atmospheres. This is good expansion here. Go down and I'm going to retrieve a little bit just to inflate high atmosphere just inside the stand and not in the distal here. No, un, un, es solamente para ver cómo es. Vale, okay. 16. Ok. 18, ok. Ok. Test, please. Test. Ok. Good. Things. Good result. So we are going for the, for the diagonal. This, this type of bifurcations are, are tricky always for us when the side branch is the only vessel damage. And I said that is the only vessel damage because the lesion in the proximal ID I think is is far from this point. Probably we we can try to to fix the diagonal with a drag eluding and put a proximal stand at the proximal part of the LED. So let's uh, dilate the diagonal with a 2.5 balloon. Yes, see and see. It here. is a bifurcation classification, Medina classification, 001, and it's a. And I think in our opinion is the best option is drag a looting balloon. El balón de dos y medio. Sí, el mismo. Oye, ir, ir buscando un balón de dos y medio de forma constructiva. Lo traigo de todos, ¿vale? I think drag looting balloons is, is are on fashion now in this uh, year, this month. ¿Eh? ¿Es esta la diagonal? Sí. Uh, and uh, the more expert people we, using drag looting balloon uh, always told us that we have to be comfortable with these dissections that are not flow limiting uh, because all, almost always vessels uh, heal uh, in, in, in the follow-up. So let's see, we are going to predilate as always prior to the drag looting balloon with with a 1-1 NC balloon, the first one, the, the same one we used for the distal LED. Let's see if the balloon crosses because the, the lesion is quite tight. Okay. 
Estíremelo, estíremelo un poquito, por favor. No question, Silvio. No question. Ok. Somos muy claros. Que si lo hacemos todo straight forward es media hora, pero como hay que hacer dos stems, tiene que haber dos stems. Todavía vamos muy bien, ¿no? Sí, vamos está. bien. Vamos a ver 16. ¿Tienes? Vamos a ver si el NC ya inflado pasa. Tengo. So I am advancing the 2.5 NC balloon previously inflated towards the, the diagonal. Ok. Eh, test, Sophie, por favor. 12. Probably this is the point. Ah. 12 atmosphere? Down, down, down. Oh. So it's move? Yeah. The balloon slips away from the... From, we, we need to dilate slowly here. And if not, we can use a cutting or, or a, grip. Grip, a grip balloon. Yeah. Very slow. Only two. Four atmospheres? Uh, no. Go down, no. go down. I'm going to enter a little bit into the LED. Okay. Test, please. Pero no mucho, porque si no... No, no mucho. Just there. Okay. Two. Venga. Cuatro. Dos Cuatro. Four. La tenemos, venga. Seis. Six. Eighteen, ¿vale? Sixteen, okay. Okay, it's a bubble, but I think the, ex the expansion is quite good. Santi, la distancia desde la de hasta la bifurcación 14 milímetros, 14-15. Y de. Pero, pero tú. 13 no en jaulas, ¿no? No, pero. Bueno, vamos a ver. Es que aquí está la sensación que el estén casi está en la diagonal. No, we are, we are discussing here, uh, sorry, in Spanish, that uh, the distances, because uh, we would like not to jail the, the side branch after uh, uh, using the drug gluten balloon. Uh, and we are thinking if we have enough space to put a, a proximal stain in the lady without jailing it. So let's go for the drug gluten uh, balloon. So 2.5, un balón de fonocativo de 2,5 por. A ver qué hay. 20, ¿no? Hay 20. Sí, los dejé. El, la luz. Ah, la han puesto a posta, ¿no? No, no se ha apoyado la chica. ¿Eh? No, 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 ponernos la luz de trabajo, por favor. 2,5, 20. No, 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 la que teníamos antes. Venga, vale, ahí. Pero te digo que, que en la escopia da la sensación de que el borde del estén está más cerca de lo que está de la diagonal, ¿no? Hay alguna imagen que parece que está que casi ras. Desde el de la diagonal, que hay, que hay un muñequito para ajustar bien que está más, bastante sano, hasta la salida de la diagonal, 14 minutos. Vale. Y podría un 3 y medio, 13 o así, y no faularía. Tiene un espacio para ajustar. Bueno, y si no, pues claro, pues ya ponemos otro. Let's see the result after the drug gluten balloon that could maintain our strategy or, or change it. Depends of the dissection and the flow after deleting with it. Finish? There's no question in the audience. Probably here in Spain is in the siesta, but I don't know in the rest of the world. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Now, now we are working with a Italian group. We are we are doing a, a trial. His, his name is Transform. Transform. Right? Uh, they perform seventy percent of PCIs with draculotin balloons. Test, please. Un poquito más, pero un poco, ¿no? ¿Cómo lo veis? Sobre todo no meterse mucho en la DEA porque Ay, ¿no? si no. ¿Hacemos un cine? ¿Cuál era el cine? El Seis, es el mismo. Cine. Yo creo que. ¿Cómo lo veis? Yo creo que está bien, es que menos sí. no cogemos sí. el. Venga, dale. Déjame ver la carátula, si puede ser. Yo creo que seis casi seguro, ¿eh? 
Ok. Ocho. One minute. Ok. Eight. So we have four. Vale. We are going to wait with the inflated balloon near one minute. Pacing is ok. Si le molesta el pecho ahora un poquito es normal, ¿eh? Va todo fenomenal. Ocho nominal. Vale. Creo que te vas a con la cabeza en lo estéril, tío. No sé cómo va a quedar justo la... Y el extend de tres y medio o tres. So we, while we are waiting the, uh, the inflation of the drug lutein, Dr. Jiménez Brothers is uh, showing us the diameters of the proximal LED uh, and probably is for a 3.5 drug lutein stand. Okay, go down. Yes, please. Test, Sophie. Cine. Not bad, no? No bad. Pero bueno, de las... Yeah, there's, there's a, a good result in our opinion of a drug routine balloon. It's a slight dissection. Uh, no severe, flow is okay, team three. So I think we can leave the diagonal like that, just in case uh, after treating the proximal LED we have to do something else. But, you know, still a poco of a... Uh, so uh, I think we should predilate the LED, right? Uh, uh, there are two two calcium points, no? Uh, two three of three point calcium five. Island, no? Three point two. five. Yeah. NC, vale. NC We're going to after the results of the of the OCT that has a, a couple of spots of calcium there. We're going to predilate uh, with a three O balloon, and then check everything. Trying to implant a 3.5, a short 3.5 extend, probably near 12, 13, from the LED ostium, just proximally to the to the ostium of the diagonal. Si es que es esa placa, ¿no? Cae en el ostio, ¿no? Quizás mejor en apecaudo, ¿no? Mm. Uh, this is the lady. This is the diagonal. Vaya. <laughs> so it's real life. We were uh, focused in the OCT and we advanced the balloon through the other wire. No problem. Tira Sophie. We change the wire in a second. Esta era. Solo la guía, eh, que está Sophie. Una la, tengo, la, tengo aquí, la tengo aquí. Abajo, no, drag, el último balón que usamos. Que no apriete abajo, que no apriete la guía abajo. Sí, sí. <coughs> Cuidado que engancha aquí. Was a, a magic touch, a, a Sirolimus Lutein Balloon, eh, Balloon, sorry, Sirolimus Lutein Balloon. Déjame la carátula de esto. And we are dilating with an Emerge and C Balloon. Here I am. Please test. Test, por favor. ¿Qué más se ve? No? Quizá eh, aquí no se ve muy, muy estirado. Se ve bien, no se ha nada de caudo. Sí. No sé We're si trying es, to find the, si the projection la... in which we can see everything es... well. 
caudal view test, please. I think it's the best one. Test. That's right, no? Do you think we should protect the circ? This is the lesson. 18. Okay, it's about 18. Better, but the expansion is good. Como una disección ahí donde no se ve en la en el estense. Okay. Protegemos la CX o no 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 entraba no Santi. Okay. Sí, no, digo ya solo por. We are discussing if if we should protect the the cerc for the, the drug looting stain implantation. Probably it is not necessary because we have space to land in the ocean of the of the LED. No? Tres y medio quince o así, por ejemplo. Uh, let's let's check let's check with a cine just in case there's a dissection or something, and we need to put a, a longer stem uh, here in the caudal view. Okay. Okay. Sí, que mejor incluso la cráneo, ¿eh? porque ahí no vemos la diagonal ahí, ¿no? y si nos metemos mucho en la diagonal. We are going to do also the, the cranial view. As you have seen, the patient has also a, a cranial occlusion in a branch of the cerc that is a small vessel that we are going to treat today. I think we can follow with the with the plan. Uh, 14. Sí, me detrece, venga. Vale. We're going to use an Orsairo uh, stand 3.513. Uh, you know it's a ultra thin strut stand, not in the 3.5 diameter, but thin strut stand. Uh, zero de muscle thin stand. So probably we, we can uh, put a stand in this projection and then go to the to the caudal to confirm. Yeah. Okay. ¿Qué hora es? 28. Creo que, que, que nos queda mucho, ¿eh? No, vamos a implantar y hacer OCT. No, calculando el tiempo. No, por, por no quedarme corto incluso. Okay. okay. We are advancing the stand. Thank you. ¿Cuánto era el diámetro? Hemos dicho. Justos. Vale. No, pero me refiero el del, el del lumen, el lumen. Mm, vale. I'll put the, the last angio as a reference here. As we told you before in the previous cases, it's a new CAD lab, and this is one of our first cases here. Okay, uh, let's check here the distal landing test, please. Okay. Un poquito más distal, pero tenemos que es. A caudo para ver proximal, ¿eh? porque no nos Yo creo que la clave, la, clave es el, la clave es la caudo. ¿no? Sí, que no nos metemos en el tronco. Es una buena posición proximal a la diagonal, just to not jail it. And let's take the most important part, that is the ostion of the lady. Uh, it was right caudal, the best, the best projection. Cine. Have to advance it a little bit, probably. Just a couple of one millimeter or two. Cine. A ah, lot of movement. Yes, I think so. It's, it's okay, no? Test, please, because the patient is moving. Okay, implanted. Rápido. Vamos. Esto nos sube. 12. Okay. Perfect. Down. Mm -hmm. Hope that the patient have a mood. 
test please not bad okay so i think we can check with oct no? do some nitroglycerin do the anjo and then or using the oct anjo just to save contrast Nitro, please. Nitroglycerina, por favor. Nitro. <coughs> no. Y yo acepté, ¿vale? Nitro puesta. Vamos a cambiar aquí la OCT. Vale. ¿Eh? La de A. Sí. Sí, de la diagonal yo pasaría, ¿no? Sí, no, sí porque ya tocarla más no, no conviene, yo creo, ¿no? O CT, sí. ¿Any questions, Silvio? Sí, yes, uh, we have a one question from Julio García. Um, uh, uh, he's saying that I saw laser, Elka in your plan, uh, why you didn't use it? Why we changed the... The, the plan or... yeah we, we we would love to show <laughs> the, the elka in this case and we thought at the beginning that it was a good candidate because it was an stem restenosis uh, a stem implanted uh, in 2010 but uh, this is real life we did intracranial imaging oct and in the oct we didn't see uh severely calcified lesion severe ne uh, neotrasclerosis, uh, neotrasclerosis or calcified neotrasclerosis so we thought that just with dilatation with an NC balloon or a cutting balloon could be would be enough and uh, we succeed so uh, this is the this is the thing we prepared everything just to uh, in complex PCI as this is not complex but uh, we ha we prepare everything just in uh, case but now poquito, eh? but now uh, I think that the patient is the, the most important thing and and with dilatation with balloon we, was enough we are going to advance the, the OCT catheter again to check the distal, well, all the LED, the, the distal and proximal uh, stents. I think I would need the, the long pullback. I stay, no? Creo que el catheter está un poco fuera. Ok, vale. ¿Me dais un test, por favor? Guillermo, tienes que sujetar aquí. ¿Un test, por favor? Vale, ok. Vamos a la base. Vale, cuando nos llegas, Pablo. Hoy, inyectamos. I'm going to retrieve the OCT. Ayúdame, por favor. About the question from the audience, I, I think that the the OCT is useful for to change the, the plan no? in this in this case. No, no, no calcium, no is rich, lipid rich plaque. It's not necessarily laser, no. No, when we read the studies that said that uh, we are we have some recent studies with IBUS also with OCT that uh, in complex PCA or even in, in conventional PCIs uh, improve uh, outcomes uh, doing intracoronary imaging is not just magic. If you cross the catheter of OCT or IBUS and that's all and you uh, improve survival, uh, it's just to in, uh, interpret the data and uh, change or not change your strategy according to the results. So in this case, uh, I think it was uh, the good uh, this is the, the distal the distal edge of the stem. Well opposed, no, no dissection. Two layers of stem here. And now there is only one. This is the nointema hyperplasia of the previous stem with no severe stenosis. We can see in the longitudinal view clearly the gap between the previous stem and the this is the, the ostrum of the diagonal. You can see here the, some dissections with the other wire, but it's open and the flow is okay. And we are entering here in the proximal stand, well opposed here. 
well expanded and this is the proximal part probably we should post dilate it santi what do you think this is the circ at the at the left hand uh, i don't know probably with a four a, a short 4.0 balloon what is the is, you uh, can measure here please santi the mira, vamos a, a pensar porque moment Es muy poco, es que es verdad, es que... Uh -huh. yeah. ¿Cuántos milímetros son, Santi? O sea, eso es en tronco. En, en lo que es la de apropia de Dostium, ahí, no, ahí está bien apuesto o, o todavía le queda algo. ¿Y, ¿Y cuánto es el diámetro ahí, por favor, Santi? We are discussing because the... Four point something. Sí. I, I think Cuatro. a 4.0 balloon could, yeah. could be okay. Yes. Eh, nos dais un balón NC de 4.8. Mm -hmm. We were discussing because to cover the, the, the lesion of the LED, the stand is just at the at the bifurcation with the circ, as you can see in the OCT. And at that point, the vessel is bigger and we need to, to do pot, to post dilate, eh, probably with a 4.0 balloon. ¿Cuánto se ha metido en el tronco? ¿Un milímetro o menos? Dímelo, por favor, que lo quiero contar, a ver qué... Lo que, lo que entra en el tronco. ¿Tiene otra pregunta, Silvio? Vale, vale. Claro. No, no. It's, it's just the, the Austrian vessel is what my, my idea. There is, there is yes. no no stand at the left main, so the position is perfect. But at the Austrian LED, the diameter is bigger. Yeah. So I'm going to yeah put the uh, caudal right. ¿Cuánto era ahí a nivel del ostium? ¿Cuánto es, Santi? Para... Cuatro. Vale. ¿Puedes hacer test en bus? Mm -hmm. There is no, no stand at the left main, as you can see in the middle image of the OCT screen. So, perfect. Eh, can, we, can we do test en bus, please? ¿Está, ¿Están ahí los de...? Por, ¿Cómo hacemos el test en bus? Bueno, puedo, lo hacéis vosotros. Sí. ¿Qué, qué? sí, 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 lo sé, lo sé, pero que lo están moviendo ellos. Sí, sí, pero que lo estaban haciendo ellos. Mira, lo voy a poner aquí. O oh, están bus live. ¿Están bus o están bus live? Normal. Colimador que no veo. ¿Por qué no puedo colimar? No sé. Ah, vale, vale, que no veía cerrar el. Está en bus. ¿El qué se está cayendo? Mirad, por favor, chus, el paciente ese. Es regular, ¿no? Esto, ¿no? Pero estamos ahí, ¿no? I think we, we can see. Ok, no, yo creo que estamos, ¿eh? Venga, sube aquí ya, sube. No te, no te muevas ahora, por favor. Muy importante. ¿Cuál es ahora? No te muevas. 12, 4.0. No veo nada. In this case, 12. 2, pero vas a 2, vale. 6, 8, 10, 12, 5 seconds. Perfecto. Go down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Contrast. It's, yes, it's empty. So I think we have. What time is it? Have time for the last OCT, or what do you think? Yes. Espera. Sí, yo creo que sí. Ah, vale. How, how much time can we have? How much time can we have? We're going to check with the OCT, and I think. 
20 more minutes. If 20. We, can, we don't see we, anything strange. We have 20 more minutes. We're going to finish with a, a new CT pullback to check the post dilatation. Contrast is fine, the patient has no renal dysfunction, so we can do it. Solo para saber dónde estamos. ¿Me pillas este, por favor? Uh -huh. Como referencia. De parina vamos bien, vale. vale ¿Tú y yo? Uh -huh. George. Este bus no, es por encima del pie. El este bus sale regular, ¿no? Sí. El este bus que sale regular, ¿no? No, pero el colima no se veía, no se veía la parte de radio. Sale mucho mejor el otro lado, ¿no? Sí. I think it's enough to see the proximal part, ¿no? Yes, sí. Distal to, to the diagonal. Give me a test, please. To check the, the guiding is inside. Dale, dale un test, dale un test. Es normal. Ok, let's put the OCT, uh, flex vision, uh, this one, uh, OCT. Yes. Ok. 54, sí. We're going to do the short pullback. Let's put go. Está aquí. Ok, dale un test Catheter, sí. Vale, está muy bien. Vale, cuando digas, Pablo. Voy, ¿tiene? ¿Estamos? Ok. Voy a sacar más. Let's go to check the, the OCT. I think it's a functional PCI. Probably if we would like to, to improve the aesthetic of the of the diagonal, the LED would have needed more stents, more metal there, but I think we should optimize our PCIs with imaging. So let's check. And I think if, if the OCT is okay, we have finished. Yeah, the The segment problem was the ostium LED, but uh... this is the ostium of the diagonal with the wire as a marker, the distal part of the stand that was okay before, and the proximal part is slightly better. Yeah, the, the proximal proximal part just in the in the in the origin of the circ yes. probably is 4.5 4.8. I think it's enough. Yes. Santi, what do you think? No, but it's, it's, it's... Yeah. This. There are some, some frames mal opposed at the proximal part uh, that we know that the, the outcomes are not as bad as the distal uh, mal position. The expansion is, is fine. And the thing is that we will need uh, probably a very big and a small balloon to, to oppose this part. And, and I think it's, it's, it's better to live like that. Yes, it's, it's only one millimeter inside the left main. It's only one millimeter. It's only uh, one millimeter. It's not, it's not important. I'm going to show you the, the last angio here. Probably we, we can do the last angio in the caudal and, and finish, okay? On the other side, right? Yes, look, this is the, the LED ostium that before mm. this post dilatation was some mala post stress and now it's quite better. But no, and, in the and left main is the, not, in the origin of but the it's not possible because yeah, it's the This is the, the, the image we, we have circumflex. seen before. No, it's, it's a very good result very good, in, very in our good opinion. Result. So, test please, para ver que estamos dentro. Okay. Let's do the scene here. 
¿Cine? Very good. And for another mainstream case, we can discuss this circ and this CTO, okay? Okay, finish? Okay, so thank you to all the people here, to our nurses, our team, uh, people in the backstage helping us, uh, and also to, to mainstream for having us. And we will see you next week with more cases from La Paz University Hospital. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.